At PlayStation, we think there is an incredible opportunity to make our platform, games, and peripherals more accessible, so that even more people can enjoy the magic of gaming. We're just getting started with our accessibility journey with PS5, but we're so excited about what we've been able to do so far and our plans for the future. ゲームコンソールにとってコントローラーというのはプレイヤーの皆様とゲームクリエイターの作ったゲームの世界をつなぐ非常に重要なインターフェースの一つだと思っておりますそのためコントローラー自体がアクセシブルであることはプレイヤーの皆様がゲームの世界に没入するという意味では一番重要なファクターだと考えております Many of us have a personal story of either knowing someone with a disability or a family member with a disability and wanting them to be able to participate、uh, with the PS5. And so it was really us coming together to ask ourselves what could we do、uh, based on all the input we received from the community to be able to craft something that really opened the doors. We've partnered with a lot of outside. Expert consultants in this area, charitable organizations that help and advocate for gamers with disabilities, really helped us understand what challenges we needed to solve in order to provide a more accessible controller that was more customizable and more performative for gamers with disabilities. This controller is a big one. It 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 is a big one. 具体的には1台のデュアルセンスワイヤレスコントローラーに加えて最大2台までこのコントローラーを同時に接続することができますこの機能によってプレイヤーの皆様のコンディションに応じて自由にコントローラーをチョイスすることができ非常に高いカスタマイズ性を実現しています We want to be inclusive We want everyone to be able to join this party、uh, No matter who you are Some of the most inspiring things that I've seen that have made me want to think more about accessibility is seeing the stories that players have and how much it means to them when they're able to sit down with the game for the first time and play more than they ever thought they could. To some extent, the principles behind accessibility are good universal design principles. So, thankfully, we're able to think about okay, well, if this information is only available on screen, well, then it's not accessible to a blind player. Or if this information is something you only hear. Joel, there's a guy up on that second floor, right there. It's not accessible to a deaf player. You know, I, I think as developers, we, we started with、uh, developing accessibility features because we realized that certain、uh, members of our audience had special needs and certain things would really block them. I'm excited for players to try various features that we've created. From high contrast mode to traversal assist, auto pickup to navigation assist. It really depends on you and what you need. And that could be just a preference. Maybe you have a temporary disability. Maybe you have a permanent disability. Maybe you can't see or you can't hear. I'm a game designer first and foremost, who is also legally blind. I try and make every game I make as accessible as possible. All sorts of people in the past wanted to play our games and just couldn't. They just had some limitation that didn't allow them to play our games. So it's really exciting that people that have all sorts of limitations cannot jump into part one and again seamlessly transition to part two because they share those same award winning accessibility features. Accessibility is important to PlayStation to achieve our mission, which is to connect people through the power of play, where players of all abilities can share the moments of joy. As she surveys the apartment, her eyes wander to Joel. People who have disabilities, they're constrained by society in the way that we have designed this world. So, having products that allow them to experience the world. Having accessibility built into our DNA, that's what is so important to me. 
For PlayStation 5, we built a brand new voice platform which powers accessibility features like screen reader, chat transcription, voice command, and voice dictation. All these features make PlayStation 5 more accessible. After the launch of PlayStation 5, we introduced new functionality like Zoom, Mono Audio support, adding more language support for screen reader, and improving the screen reader experience by introducing functionalities like play, pause, and repeat. PlayStation 5 offers a wide range of accessibility features. We're taking care of that architectural layer of accessibility so the games can focus on building even cooler experiences. The biggest thing about the accessibility features on the PS5 for me and the thing that I want to make happen is bringing people back into gaming. We are making this so you can have the same experience and enjoy it like everybody else and be a part of that excitement. There's still so much for us to discover and do, but we know that by listening to the accessibility community, we can learn how to make PS5 and PlayStation as a whole easier to jump into than ever before for anyone who wants to play.